All right, you guys. What is going on? Welcome back. Ah, sorry, let's get comfy here. Welcome back to another video. This is the first time I've, I've brought the camera out in over a month. I've been in a complete state of paralysis by analysis. Even today, this is the fourth time I've made this video, guys. That's not normal for me. Okay, it's certainly not. So my mind, my headspace as far as creating content at the moment is a bit out of whack. But I want to, first and foremost, I want to thank all of you guys for still being here. I want to thank you guys for sticking with me and I also really want to thank the, the, the ones of you who have expressed concern about how I am, you know, how I'm doing. Um, I, I, yeah, I just want to say I appreciate it, man. And um, it's... It's a hard one because whenever I receive a comment like that, I want to thank them. I want to I want to come and create content. I want to tell everyone what's going on. But when you're in this funny sort of headspace that I'm in at the moment, it's hard. So today, I've gone and bit the bullet. I've got the camera out. I've, I've charged the battery. I've come down to my happy place, which is the rugby field, because I'm I'm hoping that that will you know, get me talking and, and get this video out there for you guys because I've, like I said, even just this morning I've shot it four times. Last few days I've, I've tried to make this video but it just doesn't come out right. So what I decided to do, guys, because yeah, some... Hello? I haven't seen it mate, fuck, I don't even know what's going on, these messages aren't coming through. This is the reason man, the pressure I'm under. I don't want to do this anymore. That phone call's just put me in a bad mood. I really want to pack the camera up and go home and not make this video, but I'm going to finish it, alright? Okay, so I, I haven't made a video in over a month, and the reason is because I've been going through a lot of anxiety in my head about multiple things, um, about my job, uh, I want to change my situation, It's mostly it's about my daughter, okay? My daughter moved away two months ago on the 17th of November, today's date is the 16th of January, that means that tomorrow it's been two months. I thought that I'll be able to handle it. I thought that, you know, because she's so young, she won't remember it, you know, in, in later years, and so I'll get away with it. But the reality is, is that, you know, I see photos, I see her taking her first steps, things like that, you know, she's 11 months old, she's nearly one, and I crumble. I absolutely, I've cried, you know, countless amounts of times, guys, not in front of anyone, but by myself at home, when I look through these pictures and I think I should be there, you know, and then, on top of that, I get the pressure put on, t on onto me by by the mum because she doesn't believe that I feel like that. She feels like I'm still the selfish cunt that basically threw her out of the house when I didn't want a relationship with her. You know, she still feels like that. I know deep down I'm not that guy. I just want to get there. I just want to get there as fast as I can to just step up and be this dad that I know I can be and I want to be. This is my daughter. This is my fucking daughter. And I've sacrificed too much time with her already okay so that is the fundamental reason behind this this you know mental head fuck that I've been in recently so how am I going to fix it well I'm going to go and see my daughter right that's the only way so some of you guys who've been here for a while you'll know that I've had uh, a 10 week annual leave the holiday booked for about the last six months that was meant to start on the 20th of January uh, sorry 20th of February which was my daughter's first birthday. So I'd always thought that she'd be here with me still and I'd, I'd, you know, I'd start this holiday on her first birthday and I'd have two and a half months of, of great times, you know, no work, no stress. And uh, that's just not the case. So what has happened is I have, I've actually brought the start date from the 20th of February to the 20th of January and I will be heading over to Cairns, which is where my daughter is, very soon within a week actually so uh, the, 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 yeah the, the hard thing is guys is that I've gone and booked this trip to the US starting on the 30th of January 
and with all this shit that's going on, you know, for me to arrive in Cairns on like the 23rd, spend a week there, after having told you guys all this, told her all this, that I'm missing my daughter, it's ruining my head, I'm depressed, anxious, for me to go there for a week and then fuck off for two weeks to America, it doesn't really make sense, does it? But I feel like the opportunities and the content that I'm going to create from the trip to the US is important enough. But is it important enough? Is it? It's fun for me. It's fun for you guys. It's going to grow the channel. But it's doing nothing for my personal life. So I don't know. I don't know. But basically, guys, look, I'm happy that I continue talking. I want this video to get out there. I want it. The reason I haven't wanted to make it is because I like my, my channel's about being fun, guys. It's about having fun. It's about being positive. And there's no way in hell I can make this video feeling positive. I just can't. I really love my daughter. She is the cutest thing on planet Earth. She's a princess. She's my princess. And I just want her to come running to me, smiling, and come and give me a big hug, man. That's what I want. So, at this point, the US trip is still on. I'm still coming. I have organized a couple of really cool things over there. So I want, you know, I, I, I yeah, it's, I don't know. I think it's about 99% sure. 99% I'm coming. If I get to Cairns and I see my daughter and I just cannot leave, then I cannot leave. And I'll probably put it back a little bit. So it's got to happen. You know, I love football, and I designed this trip so I could be there for the Super Bowl. So, let's just hope it still happens. Anyways, guys, I'm actually getting burnt. It's about 40 degrees today. I'm, uh, I'm just going to go home and decompress, and I've worked a lot. That's the other thing. You know, because I brought this leave uh, forward a month, I've had to basically work a lot of overtime to sort of you know, buffer my bank balance a little bit. And that's been hard. So I've just finished five 12 hour shifts in a row. And today is my first day off in, in five days, which is six days, which is, uh, it's tough, man. It's, any of you guys wanna know, I, if any of you guys have, have wondered, I'm a disability support worker. I, I care for the intellectually disabled. That's my full-time job. It's a 12 hour shift. It's either seven in the morning till seven at night or seven at night till seven in the morning. And it's been my job for the last five and a half years. So basically, ever since I started this YouTube channel, I've been doing that as my day job. YouTube has always been a side gig. You know, what you call a side gig. Something that you've got passion for, but it's, it's more so a hobby. It was never to make any money, and I still don't make a lot of money. But, what you can do to help me with my content, with my videos, is smash that like button. Smash it before you even start watching the video. You know, that's, it helps me, it helps the content, it helps it get out there, and um, you know, that, that's, that's all I can ask for. So, whether you do or not, it's, it's completely up to you. But uh, I'm thinking because I asked for you to like the video at the end of the video, maybe I should ask for you to like it at the start of the video, but we're gonna work on that. So, the last thing I wanna mention is the top 100 video series. That has actually contributed to, to my mindset being the way it is at the moment because I got back from Bali and uh, that was on the 17th of November, sorry 14th. Three days later my daughter left and I said to myself, sorry I'm just waiting for this wind to go, I said to myself I'm going to have to fill my, my days off with something here and so I embarked on the top 100 NFL's greatest players of all time video series and I finished it. So. I'm telling you right now, you, you guys have only seen from zero, uh, from 100 to, to 70, or to 71. I've got from 70 to one already shot. They're just not edited yet. Like I, I haven't got a computer at the moment, so I'm not really concerned about it. What I am concerned about is getting this video out to you guys, so you at least know I'm, I'm still here, I'm still kicking, and you know what is coming up in the future for me. So. In the meantime, it is my mission to get a computer, of course, or a laptop, a new one. Begin to uh, edit up those 70 odd videos, which is quite a daunting task. And that's another thing. After I finish those 100 videos, 
I was so exhausted. I was I was fried. My brain was fucked. <laughs> I'm not not even gonna lie. You can love football all you like, but when you go and do a hundred reactions within a two-week period, it's gonna really throw you for six, and that's what it did to me. So I'm getting back. I'm getting. I'm getting. I'm getting back to my old self. And I know that once I see my daughter and I get over there and I can just be happy and I'm not working, I'm gonna be on. I'm gonna be on annual leave. I'm gonna have a trip to the US booked and I'm gonna be around my daughter. I mean, if I'm not happy with that, then I'm never gonna be happy, but I, I know I am, man. And I know that, that that mindset as far as creating content and, and being out of that paralysis by analysis is gonna come back. I'm gonna start feeling better about myself. The self-confidence is gonna be back. Because sometimes I tell you, man, I just cannot, I cannot watch myself. Can you imagine trying to edit a hundred videos of yourself? like? And because of the fact that after I finished shooting those hundred videos I felt so you know just exhausted that when I when it came time to watch myself back and edit them I was in this mindset this really fucked up mindset that people aren't gonna want to watch this I'm talking shit you know I'm, I'm, I'm not saying enough I'm not reacting enough I'm not reacting well enough and I don't know if that's in my head or not I mean I, I I couldn't read the comments, I couldn't see how many, how many dislikes I'd get because I was too scared. I was too fucking scared, you know, this YouTube channel blowing up like it has, it really affected me mentally. But it's only because I'm not self-confident, I don't have that confidence myself, I don't know why. Some days I do, some days I don't, it's very wavering, you know. But all I do know is when I have a rugby field, a rugby ball, and rugby boots on my feet, I am confident. And so I don't have boots or a ball, but I am down at the field, so it has made this video happen, finally. So all I've got to do is get it edited, not that it needs much editing, and put up on my channel. So hopefully I'm going to do that tonight. Today's date is January the 16th. I'm still here, I'm still alive, I'm still kicking. Hopefully in another week, I'm going to be even better. <clears throat> but uh, yeah, this last month has been testing, that's for sure. Especially with work, man. When you have a fucking real stressful job and you're stressed in your private life. Oh, I know it's life. It's life. Life isn't fair. Life is like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're going to get. But I like to, to have it as predictable as possible. And I guess maybe that's just not the... Maybe that's just not the way it's meant to be. Who wants a predictable life anyway? You want it to be somewhat predictable, but anyways guys, I am really rambling right now. I just hope this video is gonna make it to, to YouTube and uh, hopefully I don't get any more calls like I did before. Halfway through a video, which really throws you off. I appreciate you guys, I really do. Thanks for being here. We've just hit 116,000 subs. By the end of 2019, I want to hit 200,000 subscribers. That's the goal. Let's do it. Peace.